Hello, today I'll be coding something like this, except it's going to have eight columns per edge, and I'm going to try to do it with at most 100 lines of generated CSS. So let's get started. We're going to have the total number of uh, columns. So the number of uh, columns along one edge is going to be eight. And I'm going to compute the total number of columns, which is going to be uh, this p value uh, array uh, squared. So um, I'm going to have a 3D assembly. I'm going to loop here. So uh, creating each and every column. Um, the column is going to be a 3D shape. And within this 3D shape, I'm going to have um, a number of uh, visible faces. And this is going to be 5 because you don't see the bottom face. So um, again, I'm going to loop. And I'm going to create the 2D faces. So this is it for the HTML structure. Now let's move on to the styling. And here for the 2D shape, uh, just to see their edges, we're going to set something like box shadow 0, 0, um, 2 pixels, navy, something. Okay, and um, I'm going to want to set um, a width, which is going to be that width on there. Um, and I'm also going to uh, create a column height, which is going to be twice this width. Okay, uh, now something else I'm going to do um, here is um, I'm not going to set this height because then I need to reset it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have um, um, an I value and this one is going to be zero for the first faces, for the first four faces, which are the lateral faces. And it's going to be one for the last face, which is the top face. And I'm going to compute a J, which is one min minus this uh, i value so um, 1 minus i and here i'm going to compute uh, the height that i'm actually going to set this one is a calc value uh, and i multiply i or j with uh, h or uh, w so um, because i want the top um, face to have equal width and height so what i'm going to do is i times oh oops I need to interpolate this. Uh, and pretty much the same for the second term. So here I'm going to have uh, J and H. Okay, and here I'm going to set this value, this height. Um, height, sorry. Okay, and now for the last uh, face, so our uh, last child, I'm going to set this i to 1. And this is going to change um, the height. Well, at least it should have. Oh, it did. Okay, it worked. That's good. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, set the margin. Uh, but before, I'm going to absolutely position everything. So uh, div position absolute and I'm also going to set transform style uh, preserve 3d because I want the assembly to rotate in 3d and I want its column children to be also transformed in 3d so um, now what I'm going to do is 3d assembly uh, top 50% left 50%. I'm also going to set a transform uh, rotate x minus 75 degrees. Sorry, a uh, rotate y. Uh, this is a dummy value that I'm going to change later. Okay, and now let's set that margin. Uh, and this margin is going to be minus half the height. So uh, I'm going to have a calc uh, minus 0.5 times uh, and minus half the width. Okay, so uh, this should do it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is set a background. Uh, and this background is going to be a linear gradient that's going to go from white uh, to an HSL volume. And this one is going to be zero hue, it doesn't matter. Uh, zero saturation, 
uh, and the lightness is going to be a calc value that's going to be uh, i times 100 percent so this is going to be a zero percent because i is zero for the first four and it's going to be 100 percent for uh, the last one so uh 100 percent means white zero percent means black so it's going to be a white to black gradient for for the lateral faces and a white to white gradient for the top now next thing that i'm going to do is set a transform and this one is going to be rotate 3D, and I'm going to use i and j as um, the vector components. So uh, for the two, for the first two axes, so that's going to be uh, i. And then I'm going to have j. Oops. J. And the third component is always going to be zero. And the rotation angle is going to be a calc value. Uh, and this one is going to be a multiplying factor, which is going to be one by default. Um, times, and here I'm going to need to compute a few other things. So I'm going to set the number of edges or vertices of a square, which is going to be 4. Then I'm going to compute the um, angle corresponding to one edge of the square. So that's going to be 360 degrees over this number. So um, now that I've done this, I'm going to use that angle here. And finally, here I'm going to have a translate z. That's going to be half the width for the lateral faces and half the height for the top face. So that's pretty much something like this, except I need to reverse the i and j in this computation here. So I'm just going to take this calc and I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to do uh, something like this. Multiply this with um, 0.5. Um, and I'm going to reverse i and j. Okay. Uh, and now the next thing that I'm going to do is have a loop here. So for i from 0 to 4, I'm going to have if i is different uh, from 1 because I've already set this to 1 so I don't need to set it again then I'm going to have nth child i plus 1 uh, and here I'm going to uh, set it to this multiplying factor I'm going to set it to the loop index so uh, this should do it. Okay, and it does. Good. Now the next thing that I need to do is distribute uh, these uh, columns. So the 3D shape, which is the column, is going to have a transform, which is translate 3D. And I'm going to use an X value. Um, the Y value is going to be zero for now. And then I'm going to have a Z value and I'm going to compute these. Again, I'm going to have um, an i value, which is going to be a uh, zero, a k value, and these are going to be along the x and z axis. So they're both zero initially. And then I'm going to compute the x, which is going to be um, i times the column width, and I need to interpolate that. Okay, and now I need to set it for the Z as well. Uh, here I'm going to use the K. And now again, I'm going to have a loop. So um, for I from 1 to B, um, I'm going to have nth child um, P and plus I plus 1. And here I'm setting i to the loop index. And then I'm going to take something similar. Oops, I, that's not what I meant to do. Um, so I'm going to take something similar. And here I'm going to have i times p. And here I'm going to set k. So uh, this should do it. Um, except one thing that I don't like there 
is the offset. So I'm going to have minus half um, the number of columns per edge, minus one. Uh, and I'm going to use that M in here. I'm going to uh, subtract it from these indices. Uh, and I need to interpolate that. Okay, so uh, now this thing is in the middle. Uh, as you can see, it scales. Uh, what I need to do is animate it. But first, so I'm going to have keyframes, oscillation. Um, I'm going to have pretty much the same thing as here. Two. Um, and this value here is going to be minus an amplitude value. Uh, this is also going to be plus amplitude. Okay, so now I need to set that amplitude. Let's say it's going to be half the height. Okay, and one more thing I want to set here is the animation duration, one second. Now what I'm going to do is have animation, oscillation, uh, team, um, ease in out infinite um, alternate. Okay, and one more thing I want to do here, because I don't want them all moving at the same time, I'm going to need to set a delay, and this one is going to be uh, a diagonal delay, so I need to add up the indices along the two axes, so i and k. So I'm going to have um, i plus uh, k, uh, and the whole thing I need to multiply with minus t over p because going along the diagonal I have um, eight uh, wave sections. I don't know how else to call them. Okay, um, now that I've done this, I can uh, set something like body, um, background, black. Okay, so uh, this should do it. Um, and one more thing I want to do here, I'm going to uh, get rid of this box shadow, and I'm going to collapse this whole thing. I'm going to uh, take this. Um, put it here. I'm going to have rotation. Um, and here I'm going to do uh, something similar. Um, I'm going to have one turn. Here I'm going to have... Um, not 45, but 0 degrees, and I'm going to have animation, uh, rotation, let's say 5 times that animation duration, um, linear, infinite. So um, this should do it. As you can see, it... Uh, moves nicely and it scales with the viewport and if i look at the compiled css let's see just how big is it okay it's 99 so um i can do something something more like i have one line to spare how can i prettify this um actually i think these are a bit grayish at the top as well so um, I could do something like that. So, uh, for example, filter brightness um, 0.85. Okay, and this uh, gives me exactly 100 lines of code. And uh, this is it. You can find a link to the finished um, code pen demo in the description below. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. With a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.